what is going on guys and welcome to bootstrap projects in this bootstrap project we're going to actually create over here you can see this section right so you can see this dummy jumbotron right and also this one and let's say that you would have some kind of document where would you want to uh, i don't know represent your company or something right so you're writing our team right and then it's the name and the title and whatever motto right so in this video we'll basically have a look how we can actually create that so as always, I'm working actually in the brackets and I like to use these extensions because I don't want to deal with all the time. Uh, well, not all the time, but in general, I'm dealing with uh, some type of uh, links or anything like that. So what I like to do is just use extensions to get my bootstrap and everything. And I especially like these ACB bootstrap snippets, right? And over here, it's bootstrap to start a template, right? So I'm going to use this bootstrap starter template and I'm going to start a new file over here and i'm gonna say new bootstrap template right and i'm gonna say that this is gonna be a i don't know something like over here i have obviously already sections html so here i'm just gonna save as and i'm gonna say that this is gonna be a index html for this file right and you can see that this is gonna be my bootstrap starter template right so what i'm gonna do over here maybe we can leave over here this nav bar right but we're gonna just get rid of this container and now we're going to use the other uh, the other extension that we had, right? These bootstrap snippets. And if we write BS3 over here, we can just right away insert these two jumbotrons, right? So I have a first one. And if I go over here, then I can just create a another one, right? So I'm just going to again write BS3. And here I'm just going to say jumbotron, right? And just for the sake of it, let's just go to Google Fonts and let's just get some pretty cool fonts right so we're gonna get google fonts and oh, i don't know i don't know i'm usually like settling between this uh macondo right so let's just add this one just for the sake of it and we go over here and we just need to select it right where it is so this is gonna be, we're gonna have to include this right and also for this project, we're going to need a font awesome, which is I already have. So if I go all the way over here where my head is, right, my head tags, right. So I'm going to paste this. This is going to be my Google fonts. And also I need a link for my font awesome, right. So over here, I'm going to say link and this is going to be href and it's going to be style sheet, right. Sorry, relationship, right. First, we're going to say relationship. This is going to be a style sheet, right? Style sheet. And then here we're going to say a href. And this is going to be font awesome, uh, font awesome CSS and min, right? So now we have both. We're going to have font awesome and we're going to have already Google fonts. Now, the only thing is we need to add this, obviously, right? So I'm going to copy this and I'm not going to create an exter exter external style sheet. Sorry. Uh, but I'm just going to style it uh, inline, right? Well, not inline, internal style sheet. So I'm going to paste this and I'm going to say that this is going to be for my body, right? So I have created a file, a style over here. I'm going to say body and I'm going to create this one over here. So if we delete this and now we should have already our fonts right so we can close this one out right and now we have fonts and right in between our two jumbotrons right we're just going to create a little bit more space and we're going to create this section so first i'm going to say that this is going to be a team section right something like this and let's say that i'm going to give it this section id of icons right so i'm going to say id this is going to be a icons and then after that we're going to start adding what we want so the first one we're going to add is going to be a h1 and i'm going to add a class and this is going to be head over here like this and then i'm going to say that within a h1 i'm going to also place a strong tags i'm going to say that this is going to be our team right something like this our team then after that, we're going to create a paragraph over here like this. And then the paragraph is also going to have a class and the class is going to be a logo. And after logo, again, we're going to create over here this text. So we're going to say these are, I don't know, people. 
that make us or make this I don't know company uh, move forward right something like this and then after that we're gonna create uh, an actual container which we should have done right away so what we want to do is actually start over here with the container I'm gonna say uh, div class and this is gonna be container or here like this and then we obviously need a row right so we're here we're just gonna cut this out paste it all the way to the bottom and now we're gonna start creating our rows right so this is basically gonna be our title right and here we're gonna create a div and we're gonna say that div is gonna have a class and since it is a bootstrap we're gonna have a row and then within the row we're gonna create some columns so I'll say div class and over here we're gonna say a Let's say row is going to be for the medium screen, right? So we say column, medium, and it's going to be three, right? Because we want it to be spanning basically uh, like four of them, right? In a medium screen. However, in a small screen, we would want small six, meaning it's going to be half the screen, right? Now, after that, what we want to do is actually place the image, right? That we'll be using. Or here, we're going to say in image. I'm going to say source and over here is going to be this wonderful gentleman this one over here and after that we're going to right away say that we want a class all right and we want a class of image responsive over here like this and we're going to say image and this is going to be right away circle then after that we're going to say that this is going to be our I don't know the leader right the leader and here we're going to right away add a display in line just because with this container we're going to add a text center right and since we added image responsive that's going to be displaying as a block and we don't want that so we're going to right away can add style and this is going to be display display and this is going to be in line right and we're i think we're pretty much done for a image so this is going to be our image and when we add over here this text center he should jump right in the center and of course he did now after that what we want is add a couple of headings so we're gonna add a h2 and it's gonna be within a strong right and we're gonna say that this is gonna be a name then we're gonna add a different heading let's say this is gonna be h4 so we're gonna write over here four this is going to be four and here we're going to say that this is going to be let's say a title title for our leader right or for any worker right and here we're going to create a an i element and we're going to say class and this is where we're going to be using a fa and this is going to be hand like font awesome right hand, and let's say o o down right so this is this one and now we can close it out this is going to be our little hand on down and over here we're going to add a paragraph and we're going to add a class the class is going to be last right a pretty generic class but here again we're going to say strong and here we're going to be this is my motto right so imagine that your one of your teams would want some kind of motto right and we can actually put this in quotation marks it just looks a little bit better right and we're pretty much done with HTML and since we well since I choose to do this uh, over here the inline one right so we're not gonna be uh, we don't need to create a separate style sheet now what I want to do over here I want to add a font size right away I'm gonna say that font size is gonna be 100% because again we're just gonna be using these EM values right and after that we're gonna we can start styling right and the first thing that I want to style is over here this head, right? The head, the class head. So this is going to be our H1. So we go back over here. We say H1, or in this case, it's going to be head, because this is the class that we created. And I'm going to say that this is going to be a bar border, because I want to create this border. So I'm going to say border bottom, and I'm going to say that 0, 15 EM, and solid chalk chocolate right chocolate wait right so now we have our border and we also want to do actually on the top 
So we're just going to copy this. This is going to be the top over here like this. Now what we want to do is we actually want to create a display inline block because then it's actually going to be only displaying this width, right? So we go inline block and what we can do is actually add some padding just so it stretches a little bit more. So if we go here and we say, let's say we first we add a font size, we said that this would be for EM, right? And then over here, we're going to say padding and we're going to say zero and we're going to say one EM, right? So this is going to be our uh, padding. And you can see how it's stretched over here, this line. So it lo looks a little bit nicer, right? So if we go back over here, Again, for some reason, well, actually, for one reason, I didn't copy my columns, right? So you can see I only have one, right? So what I need to do over here, if I have this one, right? So we're just going to copy this one. And this is going to be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So now we should have eight, eight little Vladimir's, right? So there they are. This is our team. So we go back over here and now we can style it and it's going to look a little bit better, right? And now we're going to start actually dealing with a whole thing, right? With our whole section. So I'm going to say over here that I want a icons, right? And I would say the background color. And obviously we can choose whatever we want. And I'm going to choose something like burly wood, right? This is going to be our background color. Then we're going to add some padding, just so we have a padding here and padding over here. So I'm going to say 3EM and 2EM uh, horizontally, right? And then we're going to start actually dealing with our images. So I'm going to say that I want a icons, right? This is going to be our, um, again, the uh, ID that we created. And over here, what do we want to do with images? Let's say we're going to change the height. We're going to say this is going to be 15 EMs, right? Then we're going to say that the width is also going to be 15 EM, right? Something like this. So they're a little bit smaller. Then we're going to say margin top is going to be 1 EM. Then after that, we want to add this uh, grayscale, right? We want, we want them to be uh, black and white, right? So would we say grayscale? Right, and first we add filter, and we say grayscale, and then we say grayscale 100%. And that's it. And now you can see how they're actually a uh, let's say white, black, and white, right? And after that, what we need to do is actually just style this over here, this paragraph. And if you remember, we had a class last, so here we have a class last, and I'm gonna say that I want a margin bottom two ems, then I would want a font style italic and font size right so i'm going to say font or here a let's say first we'll have size it's going to be 1.5 ems then we would want a font style italic right font style italic right so now they're uh you can see that they're they have italic style right and we can obviously uh, also work with this one, with uh, this paragraph, right? So let's just find it where it is. Which one is this one, right? So this is this one is the logo one, right? And we need to go back over here and create obviously a rule for the logo. Well, I'm gonna do it right now last already, but uh, I mean, you can obviously do it whatever you would want. So over here, I'm gonna say logo. And I would say a margin, and I would want a margin all around to be two. And then I'm going to say font uh, size again. I'm going to say font size, two EMs. You can see now they're bigger. And the last thing that I want to do is again font style italic, right? Font style, and not stretch, style, style italic, right? So now you can see how everything is working. And if we go back over here, now you can see that if we have a medium screen, right? This is how it would look like. If we keep going to the smaller screen, you can see how they're actually smaller and take the half the size, right? So if you ever need any kind of this uh, type of, 
let's say section into whenever you're dealing actually with the bootstrap right you can actually make this like our team i mean there's some things that you can add on or take it off but overall you get an idea how we can do that uh this is going to be it for this video guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next video <laughs>